planner friends it's nia welcome to life with nia happy christmas eve week today we are planning in the half letter for the week of december 18th through the 24th i'm gonna use the i think it's called hello winter um sticker kit the week the he days of the week headers hard to see here but they have little snowflakes on them um and I've got some winter inspired quotes and I am using this Simply Gilded Washi which was in the winter box last year and it's like a little Christmas town landscape. It's got the little barn and um little house. I think they're like pink um on the barn and the house but it's got a little silver foil to it. A little deer Thought it was cute and it matches this nicely so that is what i am working with and this is not going to be a long video the half letter never takes long um keeping it very simple this week um now i think this says the first day of winter is thursday and i think my a5 Daily Duo said it was Friday. And I think my calendar on the wall says Thursday. Okay, this might have just been me. And listen, I don't have the ability to... I don't have repositionable, repositionable stickers. But I put it down on Friday in here. So, um, now I'm thinking I made an error. It's not a big deal, but no, I didn't. I'm not crazy. Erin Condren has it on Friday. So, when's the first day of winter? <laughs> I've got two calendars that say Thursday and one that says Friday. I don't know, but... Yeah, I guess we're not going to put that sticker down until we know so that we can correct the things that are possibly wrong. Anyway, um, I like to know when the first day of winter is because that is the longest day of dark. Once that day comes, we start going back in the other direction where there is more light. And we've been struggling since November whatever when we had to change time. When we had to fall back. Mm -mm -mm. So winter solstice, longest day of darkness. And then we start to slowly come out of the other side where we get a little bit more light every day until time changes again. Well, it's like way better before time changes again, but until time changes again in like March or whatever, um, I am just, I feel like winter is just dark and dreary and sad. And <clears throat> um, summer is just, I mean, you you may love winter, but <laughs> and you don't have to agree with me, but summer is just, the, it's nice outside. You could go outside. I'm not going outside, but that's not the point. Like, you could go outside if you want to. It's it's warm. It's, it's hot. It's barbecues. It's swimming pools. It's the ocean. It's the beach. It's everything. I am just going to stick this here and because I want to cover that up and we'll figure out what day it is. Um, It's just... Mm, happy, happy. Happy, happy. The only part I don't like is all them kids out of school torturing me. They just... But the good thing about them being out of school is the school buses are not running. And um, backing up traffic and stuff. And, and the parents, you know, taking children to school and picking them up are not creating traffic issues as well so I mean there is that positive to it but 
we have year-round school here, so it, it doesn't make a huge difference. <clears throat> There's a very short window of uh, less traffic because of school. Anyway, I um, have a what I hope is a fairly quiet week. This week is primarily focused on um, unboxing the Advent every day, which I'm also really enjoying unboxing my own Advent every day. Um, I have the Baddies and Budgets 12 Days of Budgeting Advent. It's the first time I've ever had an Advent. And so I'm having fun with that. And um, it literally might be like the, the third thing I do when I get up in the morning. You know, after like all the normal stuff. Um, I usually like a journal. Wash my face, brush my teeth, maybe take a shower. Depending on what day of the week it is. Um, because if it's the weekend, I'm trying to stay in the bed as much as possible. But a weekday, get up, journal, take a shower, and get to work. But in between that, and coffee, um, in between that, I am opening my advent. So that is fun. Okay, I think, let's see, I guess I will try to use, I'm going to put a little grocery list here because we do have to get Christmas dinner. And then I am going to do, I'll do this here. And then I only have nine dots. So I'm going to put them on. Planner time. Happy mail. I think we'll probably have one more big um, haul week. Probably have one thing. So, probably one more big haul week and then it, it will calm back down. Um, I have some things that I ordered for Black Friday and I am like what is y'all shipping time because geez some of it was like pre-Black Friday sale and it hasn't shipped so um, I'm not sure what that's all about but it's not like I need things right this second it's always fun to get something in the mail to be able to open anyway, so I'm not pressed for anything at all. Okay, I think I will see. I think I have a gray clean color dot. Maybe. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, so this is called platinum. And I'm going to use it for next week. It's not the right color, but it's okay. And a little grocery list. And y'all, they don't have to be complicated. If I had some snowflakes, I would add them on here. But I don't, so we're going to leave it at that. We're going to add in a few little reminders. We have a payday here. And an important here. to go look up when is really winter 
first day of winter. That's gonna bother me, so. I, I need to know why calendars have conflicting information. Oh, I do have, mm, I just had an idea. Okay, stick with me here for a moment. What was I looking for? I think I have like some hollow money. Got a kind of high out of PD. Okay, so thinking about all my little foil goodies are in here. And I now Snowflakes, okay, they're gold though. Let's see, those are huge, but they could be cute. Oh, and those would be cute. Okay, I think I got it. pieces. Silver snowflakes. forget about my little um, sticker guru binder of foiled goodies. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to add on, because at this point I just went from saying it doesn't have to be complicated to making it super complicated, but we do. We, we can always use a little razzle-dazzle, right? That's enough. That is the week of the 18th through the 24th in the half letter um, with my little cricket snowflakes down here, but that's okay. I hope that you're having an amazing week. It is Christmas Eve week. Um, and I cannot believe that next week is Christmas already, but 
here we are. So hope your week is fantastic. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button. If you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And I will see you back here next time. Bye!